Well, before the pandemic, most of us had never heard of mRNA technology used to develop the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. And as CTV's medical specialist Avis Favre reports, it's thanks to the work of a Canadian some call COVID's forgotten hero. mRNA vaccines have become the superstars of the pandemic. And Canadian scientist Ian McLaughlin watches the reports, knowing he and his team played a vital role in their development. There's a part of me that is almost overwhelmed at how effective and powerful these vaccines have been. It's technology born some two decades ago out of concern the world needed better weapons for fighting new pathogens. We know that there are these emerging infectious diseases that are out there and we as a society need to prepare for them. At the time, scientists were honing in on messenger RNA as that new tool. McLaughlin and his team devised a new way to protect the fragile RNA using four oils or fats, creating lipid nanoparticles that also delivered the message to the cells. It was patented some two decades ago, among the some 300 others with McLaughlin's name. To have worked on it for literally decades, to have pulled together a terrific group of people, who helped make this happen. We started this wanting to help people and it feels wonderful to know that we have been able to do that. But his contribution has been overlooked until this Forbes magazine investigation that called McLaughlin COVID's forgotten hero. I think it's great that uh, he's getting the recognition. The contribution that Ian and his colleagues made is, is a very substantial, important breakthrough. Even Nobel Prize frontrunner, biochemist Caitlin Carrico, tells CTV News she spotted McLaughlin's work some 15 years ago and wanted to collaborate with him. But by then, other companies had tied McLaughlin up in legal disputes over the technology's origins. Frustrated, he walked away from it all in 2014. A very unfortunate distraction and uh, uh, something that I didn't want to spend the rest of my life having to deal with. McLaughlin now says he has no regrets and gets no royalties for his part in the vaccine delivery development, working now as an independent scientist with a message. These vaccines have deep roots in Canada. This technology was developed by young men and women scientists who really wanted to do what they could to help people. Yeah. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.